And hundreds of people are now really seeing their new realities in Ruidoso. They returned to the wildfire damage today for the first time since those flames erupted exactly a week ago. The majority of the village reopened about 8 o'clock this morning, but they're not going back to the Ruidoso that we all know and we all love. Our Monica Legronio is again in Ruidoso tonight. And Monica, so many of those folks who are returning home still don't have utilities like water, electricity, gas, and that's going to be that way for a while. That's exactly right, Tessa, Trevor. And when the village announced the reopening on Saturday, they made it clear residents will need about a week's worth of food and water. That's because grocery stores in Ruidoso still aren't fully operational. There's also a water boil, excuse me, a boil water advisory in place. We were here last Monday when thousands were evacuated from their homes. As you can imagine, preparing a week's worth of food and water can be a hard and daunting task. Luckily, evacuation centers are stepping up to offer residents everything they could need. ENMU Roswell let evacuees choose from dozens of non-perishable items like tuna and chicken packets. They also had several pallets of water available. We also saw formula, diapers, kids' toys, and more. Martha D. Stab with ENMU Roswell tells us the college didn't even have to ask for help. The community and organization Organizations like Roadrunner Food Bank stepped up and immediately started donating. It was the, the residents of the city. You know, we had a truckload of water and other things from Border Patrol. We didn't ask for any of these things. On that first day, we were just more concerned about getting people in. And we had our back door open to the gym where things were just coming at us. And uh, I remember at one point, um, our VP, Anne Marie Oldfield, said we should get some bread. And I think she made a call to Albertsons and she was just going to ask for like a few, but we ended up getting a truckload of bread. Residents in Sun Valley, Sierra Vista, and Via Madonna were let back in yesterday. Ruidoso and Ruidoso Downs opened up today. Now, it's important to note, if you are immunocompromised, you might not be able to tolerate the ash, smoke, and soot that is in the air right now. Reentry is only allowed for full-time local residents. Right now, second owners, second homeowners, and tourists are asked to hold off. IDs are being checked, and in some parts of town, things are still off limits. Those are called exclusion zones. Like you see behind me, this is on Meacham and White Mountain. So if you see any of these roadblocks, you won't be able to be passed through. As I said, IDs will be checked. Again, things aren't fully operational. 911 may be down, so just be aware of that if you're coming back into town. For now, I'm live in Ruidoso. Monica Logroño, KOB4.